All right, guys. I said I would never restore another tractor, and then here I am. I'm restoring another tractor. It's an epoxy primer, everything to be sanded. Now, this tractor was luckily just surface rust, so what you see behind me is not Prime 360 because I didn't have to. In the back of these panels were actually rust free, and we still had a good coat of paint here. Same with over here. And I only had about a third of a gallon left to prime all of this sheet metal. It eats a lot of paint, especially when you're doing a full 360 like on this. Um, again, I didn't do the belly side because the paint's still good underneath here. It was really where the sun had beaten on it, where the paint had worn off. Um, yeah, so here I am. But with that being said, I am going to show you some of the things that you need or what I use or recommend. And now this table's a mess, so bear with me here. Right here is your two stage epoxy. Okay. Just uh, it's a one to one. You're going to need a ton of lacquer thinner, obviously, all your sandpapers and whatnot. And then here is the paint. As people like to ask this, it's directly from Kubota. Uh, it's, it's expensive. Not gonna lie, but a gallon typically will be able to paint all of your sheet metal and even your wheels. But yeah, we are about to shoot with our trusty Harbor Freight paint gun. It's pretty much all you need, 20 bucks and a regulator and you're good to go. And let's see what this looks like with some color. All right, so now grab your favorite hat, a very good respirator, your budget paint gun, make sure it has a regulator, set to about 50 to 55 PSI. I always recommend a strainer before you fill your paint gun because you want to make sure everything that's going in here is perfectly clean. And all of our panels have been scuffed and wiped down with lacquer thinner, so they are ready to be shot. Let's get to it. Restoration is complete and uh, I actually have a buyer for it. So I have a even bigger tractor that I decided to purchase. We're gonna get that into another video, but for now, let's take a look at this this uh, tractor and I'll show you what I did to it. It really turned out nice. I think the new owner's gonna love it. Um, 1300 hours, it's gonna be a good machine for him. So we did a full restoration, got rid of the ugly cheap headlight up front with two housing bulbs. With 20 inch uh, light bar, rhino line, the front bumper, painted all the sheet metal, including the wheels, came out really good, new decals, had those made, you know, it costs a little money to get these things done right, but the end result is just perfect, I also went ahead and bought all new trim, also not cheap, but it makes the tractor look really fresh. Runs great. Uh, alternators, belts, all the fluids, filters, everything. Uh, tubes, front rear tires, whole nine yards. right here so right here this is your three-point lift very smooth operation and this tractor actually has a it's called a dual clutch transmission which means the first 
small amount that you are pushing on is the first stage of the clutch, which is your drive, your drive clutch. And then all the way in is your PTO clutch. So you can actually slow the tractor down, or come to a stop, pushing the clutch in halfway, and your PTO will continue to spin, which is nice. Now, with that said, this, uh, this clutch is a little more touchy because you have all this play, but just the very last bit is actually where it catches. So, you can see here, very last bit. Oh. There you go. And then you have your shuttle here, and then your shift on the column here. So you have first, second, and then down, third, fourth. Very nice shifting mechanism. I like that a lot. Throttle. Also have your foot throttle. And you have dual brakes. This uh, tractor actually has wet clutch uh, brakes. So this is a lot better system than the dry brake brakes like on my, uh, my L285 that I have. But, you know, what you're gonna do. Uh, all the gauges work, fuel, top, and temp, everything works. Of course, the fuel gauge needle, uh, it broke off, but it's still facing the right direction. It's a cool thing of diesel right now. But yeah, let's go for a little drive here. I'm gonna put in fourth, forward, and put up that clutch. It's a three-cylinder, so it chugs along pretty good. tractor I uh, honestly wish I could keep it if it was up to me I'd probably keep everything but uh wife and two kids have to let things go to make room for the bigger and better projects so if this video helps please smash that like button consider subscribing I have a lot of automotive content tractors race cars four-wheelers you name it so as always guys thanks for watching